Hello guys and welcome back to another Sons of the Forest build guide and this time we're doing something a little bit different. This is creating a storage system that I think everyone should consider using in their base. Um, don't you just hate it when you're bringing logs to your, your base via a zip line or via the water and then they just end up sprawling about and you have to go and collect them. So having a dedicated spot is fantastic. And so the solution is a system like this, which was sent to me during one of my Twitch live streams by Willow Knight. Uh, they said this is a system that they've um, started using themselves, that they've developed. And what they do is they send the logs through to here and then the logs will drop down onto the log holders. And from here, you can collect the logs um, just looking up which is fantastic for ease of access. It also keeps them out of the way so they're not taking up too much room. And what I've decided to do under here, in fact, we could probably improve this by adding a few struts, but we've put all of our storage underneath. I'd only thought about adding storage underneath uh, whilst I was, once I'd finished this. So I recommend adding a floor if you're going to do this kind of system but it certainly makes life a lot easier for us. All you need to do is send the logs onto here and they will automatically sort into there because there's nothing worse than having all of your logs um, flung about your, your base when you, you fill up one of the um, containers. So I'm going to show you how to build this. If you do find this helpful, um, do let me know in the, the comments. Say thanks Willow Knight, helps a lot. I'm sure they will appreciate it. And obviously, if you do want more Sons of the Forest content, do make sure to subscribe. I've got plenty planned. I did actually try and improve this by adding a fire on top, and then I tried it with ramps and, and the such to try and fill up bones so that we could do an automatic kind of um, body disposal system. Unfortunately, the bones don't have the same system of filling up a storage as the logs do. I would love end night to do that. It would be really nice to play around with systems in which we could kind of try and automate stuff. Uh, as you know, I love doing that on this channel. Um, but we're going to show you what we've done with this, how to build this, and then from there, um, you can let me know if you have any suggestions for improving this in the comments. Let's get into it. To start this build, you're going to want to do a three by two grid to start off with. Um, as you can see us doing here. Ooh. And the idea is that the middle section will be where all of the logs are uh, able to be grabbed from. Now that we've done the three by two grid, I'm going to start placing floorboards down. We didn't do this in the, this build, but I, I figured we might as well for this one. And you're going to also want to place the um, up vertical supports along here as well. Place them on each of the points for the time being. We'll reduce them uh, once we've got the whole system in place. Now that the first layer is complete, we're going to add the beams across and we're going to fill that in with wooden floorboards as well. Underneath, should you wish, you can start adding struts, although you might not need to bear in mind that it is quite tight. It depends which way you, you put them around. We now have our three by two grid fully covered above and below. And as you can see, we have used struts to make this a lot cleaner. This is going to be our storage floor. You'll be able to place everything that you want here, but we do need to access the logs which are going to be placed above. So at this point, we're going to want to head up here and perhaps it would be good for us to grab a log. And from here, I'm just going to mark where the end is on one side. We can put this just somewhere else for now. At this point, you want to grab your storage. So we're going to go for our log storage. And it's really important that you place these horizontally along here. Um, try and get them as straight as you possibly can. And you want the center to be as close to the middle there. And at this point, I'm going to chop these out, the just the centerpiece. And we're going to do this all the way through. Quickly, I did want to just say that I didn't mean to place the log storage at the front. 
um, you actually want it at the back because this is where the logs are going to land first of all. So we're going to make sure that it's close to the center. Bear in mind that you're going to need to place another log storage across here. I find that for the way that we do it, having six log storage is the perfect amount. Uh, this works out as 36 logs available to use. So we're now going to grab all of our sticks that we have available and we're going to fill out the log holders. Once you've placed down your six log holders, we're going to grab some more logs. And at this point, I'm going to cut these logs into the single quarter pieces. And we're going to make sure that we place them in the snapping points. You may need to um, duck to place them down, but we want them on all of the spots available in the center of the build. This is because we're about to do a ramp from each of the ends into here so that any logs that fall into this section will fall into the log holders. And then from here, we're going to, on the outer section, place down large logs like that. These outer logs should also have the log beams going down into them. Once you've done that, you'll be ready for the next step. At this point, your build should look like this. We have the ramps going down and then you can see I've actually stored some wood here. But what we're going to do at this point is we are going to build a ramp down into the storage. Pretty simple. You don't need to do the whole ramp. You can get away with just doing, say, four pieces. And we're also going to fill out the back section here. And then along the top, we're also going to add some side logs. You don't necessarily need that, but it's good to have just so that you have a bit of a border so nothing flies out. Oh, and before you build the wall, just make sure that you've placed some full logs in this section here. The reason for that is we need to use the snapping point to create the little outcrop for where the zip line is going to be. So at this point, you can now fill that wall in and also these ramps. At this point, we are ready to insert our zip line, but I will just quickly mention that we've done the back wall. We've filled it and gone a little bit higher. And we've also in this section just added supports just to give us a little bit more coverage in case one of the logs does bounce off, but I haven't had that happen yet. So at this point, we're going to place these on top of the little quarter logs that we placed originally. And from here, we're going to add these beams and a cross beam. I'm running out of logs here. Um, we'll place that there. And then the next thing that you want to do, just do this down here, is add some more supports some more struts. We're going to place these in the oh, the corner section here and on the opposite side. And that will allow us to remove these, which may block the zip line from working efficiently. You can place these where you want now, or you can just drop them in there. You'll see that they automatically load in. And if you just want to check it's working, you can just run to here and then grab them. So there you go. You know that's working. The next thing that we need to do is attach our grapple hook, our rope gun. So if we go to our inventory, grab this, and we're going to place the grapple, as you saw there, just underneath the log here. Let's place it here. And then we can chop down our trees. Do I have my, yeah, here's my chainsaw. And at this point we can just throw these onto the line and they're going to auto sort themselves. We don't need to worry about them. We don't need to worry about chasing after them if they're rolling down any hills. And um, from here we can also use this to get back to our base. So that is how this system works. And then afterwards, you'll easily be able to access your logs. We'll have a storage of 36 for whenever we need it. 
And at this point, I would recommend placing your storage underneath. So all of your storage for non um, like special items, anything that you want on a storage um, shelf, maybe keep that in, in your house, but the rest you can place underneath here, um, which I will do now. I'll probably just move the stuff from there to here and uh, you can see how it's all set up. And there you are guys, you can dress this up how you want, but this is the basic system which is now fully functioning and allows us to just quickly go in and grab stuff as we need them. Um, speaking of which, it's not the easiest to put the items back in. Oh no, you can just press C, I always throw them, that's why. Uh, but you can see that having this as a dedicated storage space in your base, you're able to grab anything that you need for building whenever you need it. And every time you, that you come back from doing your, your wood harvesting, you can drop all the items off here and then go to your base. Um, so definitely recommend playing around with something like this. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, please do hit the thumbs up if you want to see more. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe. I'm working on a cliffside base at the moment, and there's also a defensive guide coming up very soon. So do keep an eye out for that. Hmm, this spot looks pretty good for a future build. We might have to do something with this soon. Uh, anyway, special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Clips patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Trebor, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, the Emon Wolf, and that dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Dashlom. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.